Post the honor guard. Honor Guard, Parade, Rest. The history of this table has had a long evolution. It started as a POW table and an MIA table. And by the way, yesterday was the anniversary or the day we recognized our POWs. We have the table up here, but we wanted to save the POD, POW aspects until tonight. After uh, Vietnam, tables were started to be set at military dining halls and at most veteran gatherings, and they were still used as POW tables, but ceremonies started to be performed. They evolved to read uh, what each item on the table symbolized, and at first the items meant to, were meant to remember our POWs and our MIAs. But since Desert Storm, the table evolved to be for missing comrades and veteran groups began to use the table to remember their members on internal patrol. Submarine groups like Kings Bay now perform ceremonies when the tolling of the boats are done each November. It's a very emotional ceremony. Recently, hat ceremonies have become very popular as the next slides will now indicate. Our Honor Guard in tonight's ceremony will present both the items and our hats. We think this is somewhat unique. And these are tables all over the country that you have seen at some uh, military dining halls and veteran gatherings. We're going to explain what the items on the table mean. Honor guard, attend, hut. The table is round to show our everlasting concern for our shipmates now on eternal patrol and all members of the armed forces who gave their lives for our country. The cloth on the table is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions when answering the call of duty to serve their country. Honor Guard, present the chair. The chair is empty. They are missing. Two. Honor Guard, present the candle. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope that those at home had while waiting on our return. Two. Honor Guard, present the vase. The vase is tied with a yellow ribbon and a red ribbon to remind us of our shipmates now on eternal patrol. The red ribbon reminds us of the blood shed by our armed forces and over 4,000 submariners who lost their life while on patrol. Two. Honor Guard, present the rose. The single red rose reminds us of the life of each of our shipmates now on eternal patrol and their loved ones who still miss them. Two. Honor Guard, present the bread plate and lemon. The slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of the bitter fate of those who are lost when their boats never return from patrol. Ready? Two. Honor Guard, present the salt.
The salt symbolizes the many tears shed by their families who still miss them. Two. Honor Guard, present the Bible. The Bible represents the strength of gain through faith to sustain us from loss of those who are lost from us. Two. Honor Guard, present the glass. The glass is inverted to symbolize their inability to share today's toast. Two. Honor Guard, present the flags. The flag honors the pride their pride in serving the Naval Submarine Service to defend our country, and tonight we have a POW flag on there to honor all who are missing. Ready? Two. At this time, would you please rise, raise your glasses, and we ask you to raise a silent toast of your own to our missing comrades who are no longer to share the toast with us. Would you all please stand while we sing the Navy hymn together? Thank you. 